we are here with Dirt Rally right now, and we're about to get off this start real quick. Let me just get this start. Um, come on, come on. Got to get around this. No, that was a weird turn. All right. Well, this is Dirt Rally. This is a game where it tries to make it kind of simulation of rally, kind of like WRC if you guys have ever played that or any of the other dirt games. But this one's definitely not uh, the same as the other dirt games. This one's way more simulation and hard. The controls are just kind of it, it's 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 like not hard like bad. But it's like dark. It's kind of like Dark Souls. Not as hard as Dark Souls, obviously. But like it's like probably the hardest racing game I've ever played personally. And you just gotta run that guy right there. We're gonna go around that. I hate that turn. That turns really hard. We're gonna take the Joker. But yeah, this game. I really like this game. It's pretty freaking fun. And you're just driving around in the dirt and running into each other. Two. All right, that's fine. Both of them. Oh, this guy in front of me has. So I gotta pass this guy. Mm, let me try to get this corner on him. Oh, shit. Dang. Alright, we'll get him up here. Alright, but yeah. This game, I just got it recently. It's just a lot of fun. The Rallycross is probably my favorite just because I love Rallycross and like GRC and all of that and rally cars. So this has probably been the game that I've been playing a lot. It's kind of hard to play it while talking at the same time. Just what I'm doing right now. Alright, going around there. And yeah, if you guys don't understand, if you guys um don't understand rallycross or rallying, it doesn't matter. This game is a lot of fun. You can learn and pick up on stuff. Rallycross is a really interesting concept to racing. I I think it's much more entertaining. It's a shorter race. This one's only four laps. It's usually like around eight or something. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. You got the Joker lap that he puts into it, which makes your lap either longer or shorter depending on what the race is. You could take a Joker lap and give you a shortcut, or the Joker lap would give you a long way around. In this game, it is always a long way around, so you always want to take it when you have a big lead or you're too clumped up or something. All right, and the Joker lap you see on the left it makes your track way longer, so it's a uh, slows you down a bit but everyone's got to take it so it's not a disadvantage you just got to choose strategically when to take it and um yeah that's pretty much it but right now we are in first place right now holding it in front of everyone else and we just got to hold this down the last couple of curves and that should be good oh that's kind of rough let's keep it going all right they must all right be behind me because there's no one on the other side of there Take it easy into here. Yeah, I guess that was okay. Alright, let's go around. And there it is. Alright. We take that win. But yes, this game I got right now. It's, I think, $60 at GameStop. You might be able to get it cheaper online. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. You guys should check it out and get one of your own. If you guys like racing games, this is definitely a good game. It'll probably make all the other racing games easier because this is a really hard game. But yeah, you guys should check this out. You got all these career leagues, custom events, and all this. It's a really fun game. But yeah, you guys should check it out. And uh, if you thought, guys, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.